Hey guys, I'm excited about this video as we are visiting my childhood hometown. Well, we're gonna do it virtually because non-essential travel currently not recommended. But Google Maps is the nest best thing, the, ne the nest oh. best thing, which actually involves a lot less exercise for me. So <laughs> I'm down for it. So before I dip my toes back into the lovely land of Rossendale, I got a lot of questions on my last video about the two snazzy Japanese posters behind me. Well, my little friends, they are Display, who have kindly sponsored this video. Thanks, boys. So for those of you that don't know, a Display is a metal poster that you can stick to the wall using the magic of magnets. So I got two new ones, which I feel are more autumn, winter vibes. The first one is the Geometric Wolf which I love so much. The quality is incredible. And then one that I thought would look cool with this is the Geometric Fox. So let's put them up. They look so good. I'm so happy with that. It was really hard to pick the animals as well. I think if I got more, they'd look really good in a whole range. So if you want to get some of your own, I've made a list of these and some more of my favorites. You can check out my link below. You can also get this special discount. Every display you get helps plant trees somewhere in the world that needs them. Hopefully my tree is just filled with geometric animals. Oh. Right, let's get onto the Googs. I'm from somewhere called the Rossendale Valley. Sounds a bit like Moomin Valley. The ratio of towns to sheep is quite small. Compare that to London, which is just brown. Anyway, go away. London, this is not your video. Let's get in my childhood street. The yellow man's like, oh my God, what's happening? Here we are. Nostalgia just whacked me in the eyes. Oh, it's so weird, like even to virtually be back here. So if we go to the end of the street, this should be a building site. Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh, this was more open before. They've actually built something now. So yeah, we used to play as kids on this building site, which was super dangerous. But this uh, forest brings the biggest <laughs> memory back. So when I was about 13, me and my friends found a whole load of adult magazines shoved into a tree trunk. Why were they there? I don't know. Who's, who's looking at porn in the woods? This is weird. I guess it was in the time of dial-up internet, so maybe some... <laughs> Some guy was like, I just gotta take it to the forest. It was a weird find. My friends were like, wow, boobs. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I love that. There was actually some dodgy mags in the builder's porter cabin over there as well, which we found. So generally that area, if it has a memory to me, it's porn. So <laughs> moving on. I don't think we're gonna be starting the video with that. So if we go down this road, we will find the biggest drama that ever <laughs> happened on the avenue. And that was this wall. Wait. Let's get a good shot of the wall. This wall. You see how it's all mildly knocked down? Okay, right. Me and my friend, Jess, wanted to do a bit of Jenga, okay? We pulled about three or four bricks out of the wall and stacked them. That was it. Just, just a few bricks. Just, that was it. That was all. Anyway, the next day, <laughs> the entire wall has fallen down. It's great to see that <laughs> the lasting impression is still there. Anyway, the lady that lives over here had been stood on that balcony watching me and Jess pull the bricks out. So she told my mum that I was the wall perpetrator. However, my friend lived here. That was his bedroom window. He saw the lady's son that night had come home from a bar and kicked the wall down. But she didn't believe that her beautiful boy would be such a scamp. So she put all the blame on me. And then all the mums got involved. Was it Phil? Was it Tom? You should ground Phil. He shouldn't be allowed near that wall again. He's just gonna pull more bricks out and take them home and make his bed out of bricks. I mean, what? I, I didn't want the bricks. Why would I want the bricks? Why would I want the bricks, Janice? No, it was your son being a drunken mess. So fight me. Anyway, that was a story. <laughs> the good thing about living up north was this hill was epic for sledging and we got a lot more snow. We hardly ever get snow in London, but here it was like snow central. It was all the way up to this wall. That tree does not give me good mems. Fell right out of that from about up there and slammed my tailbone on the wall. My ass has never been the same. So I got off the school bus at that bus stop and then I had to walk home up this hill, which is the steepest hill of all time. It was the only exercise I got, so it's probably quite good for me. But this hill reminds me of one of my <laughs> first relationships with a girl. I'm gonna call her Susan. I didn't know the etiquette of holding a girl's hand, right? Uh, how long do you hold it? When do you let go? So we started holding hands at the bottom of the hill. She was coming to my house and then we started climbing the hill and we'd been holding hands for about two minutes at this point. And I was like, I feel like my hand is getting really sweaty, but I don't want to let go of her hand because then I don't want to be the guy that's like, ugh, get off. So we just kept holding. And then my hand was just getting moister and moister, ascending the hill. This hill goes on for freaking ever. Look at it. It's just still going. It's an endless hill. At this point, my hand was wetter than the ocean. And then, 
And then we had a very <laughs> romantic little kiss leaning against this. What is this? Oh, it's a salt box for the road. Back at the bottom of the hill from hell. So this was where I got the school bus every morning. And it was so miserable because there were so many kids on the bus route before me. So when I got on the bus, it was always completely packed with kids. And I had to get on and just be like pressed against a sweaty window. Then it was like a 15 minute bus down this road. Ah! I don't want to go in Vicarage Lane. Get me out. This road is reminding me of accidentally mounting the pavement about three times during my first driving test and the instructor just grabbing the wheel off me. Like, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Look, the pavement is thin. It looks like the road, okay? So a bit further down the road, this is the courthouse, which is where I had my school prom, which is really, really weird. I don't know why we had it at the courthouse. Anyway, I became the laughing stock of my friends because apparently I was slow dancing with my legs super wide open. <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm glad I can share these things with you. Hopefully it makes you feel better about your life. Oh, this is the Tesco that was down the road from my house. This is where I applied for a job and I told them that I make videos and post them on the internet and they <laughs> didn't call me back. I wonder why. It was also, as a kid, a fun place to go with my mum. I just really like going to Tesco with my mum and putting a million Haribos into her trolley. There was a massive mansion up this road somewhere. But me and my brother got to be friends with their two kids. I'm gonna call them John and Ron. Literally, I'm not making this up. When they were 11, their dad bought them both a mini for Christmas when they were 11. And we'd sit in this mini with the handbrake off and push each other along like it was some kind of toy car. Anyway, they tried to get me to smoke. So my mum was like, no, you're not friends with them anymore. Right, let's go down the road. The one thing I will say about the Rossendale Valley is it is very pretty. There's so much greenery. I know I'm literally looking at petrol station right now, but you know what I mean? And I love all the old stone buildings as well. And then here's the bus stop, and then there is my high school. I thought I'd be like, wow, it looks so small, but it does not. It looks how I remember it. Quite big and imposing. Except for PE, which was a living hell. I actually quite liked my high school, which is rare. So I've got more nostalgia than dread. This reminds me of when I was in year seven and some year 11 lad had kicked his football over the grate and it came to me walking up the hill. And then I was like, oh no. He was like, come on, kick it up, mate. Come on, come on. I was like, I can't kick it up. I don't know how to kick a football. So I picked, I picked up the football with my hands and just went, meh. Oh. <laughs> Fully missed the grate and then their football rolled all the way down oh. this hill to the left and just kept rolling And he looked like he was gonna attack me. So I just ran away <laughs> Before he could get over the grate. I just ran up the hill to go to school Well, that was a cringe attack. I didn't think I was gonna have when I was in sixth form college my friends Mark and Emma Worked at this pub called the Jolly Sailor. Is it still here? It's still here! Um, so we used to go in there and they'd give us free chips. And then around here, there was always a dodgy ice cream van. There was always a rumor that if you said a certain code word, he would put alcohol into your Panda Pops. <laughs> we could never figure out what the word was. This is my school area. I mean, everything is so lush and green around here. Wherever you look, you just see trees, which is lovely. And I do miss that. <laughs> What is that? That was not there when I lived here. Here is the town's claim to fame. Britain's last original temperance bar, which means basically a bar that doesn't serve alcohol. So it had like dandelion and burdock or cream soda. And there was a guy that worked there that looked a bit like a wizard. So it was quite fun to go in there when you were 14 and be like, yeah, I went to the bar when really you were just sipping your cream soda next to a wizard, which actually sounds cooler in my head. This is about a 10 minute walk from my house. And this is the main street of the town, which still has the old cobbles on the street, which makes it feel very old fashioned. They have a sweet shop now. They did not have a sweet shop when I was there. That's where I would have got all of my nutrition. It's actually got a lot nicer in the last five years. They were like, oh, Phil's gone. Let's get a coffee bar. I went here last year when I went to see my friend and it was so good. If you're ever in the area, go to Siphon. Doodaz. Oh, I'm inside. It's so weird on Google that you can just go inside a shop. Should you get an ice cream? Thunder and lightning flavor. What the hell is that? Now I need to return and find out. Did they know Google man was just like, hello, <laughs> you getting an ice cream? Let's go see my primary school. I went to primary school in Helmshaw, which is just down here. And there's my primary school. Oh, that one does look small. And then next to it was this hill, which looked like a volcano. We called it Sex Hill because we thought people would go there to have sex. We didn't really know what sex was, but it was scandalous. And then after school, age 10, I was allowed to just leave school and then walk down here to my grandma's house. I usually walk with my friend Chris and we were fine unless it was winter and dark because then you had to walk past this graveyard which absolutely terrified me. I thought I was gonna get eaten by a vampire. All the way down here and then my grandma's house. Oh, there it is. So oh, I'm quite emotional about that. Oh, she loved that house so much. She had lovely neighbors and she made it all nice inside. She had a little fiber optic Christmas tree. So I'd go there every Friday and we'd play Scrabble and she'd make me pancakes. And then one of my friends lived next door. He had a Sega so I'd play a lot of Sonic until they kick me out. And look how pretty that is. 
just at the end of her road. So there we go, I think that's enough of a walk down memory lane for today. Having visited it, I do miss my hometown. I don't think I can move back up north, but there are some qualities about it that I did love. So it was great just to, even with Google, have a little walk around. If you're missing somewhere, actually, just go do this. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I could do it again with my university town or maybe Manchester. So I'll see how much you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to check out Display if you wanna get yourself a cool metal poster. I've put the link below along with the offer just for you. And I hope you're having a good day and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.